Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Maurice Gimba, and today we are going to create custom connection using variables and formulas. And normally, this is normally a moment connection. We have a column here, this is a column, and we have a beam. So we want to create a connection in between. So we want to make this connection our own and uh, place it in applications and components section so that it is our own customized connection for our own use. Now, we can also use Tecla Structure's own connection and convert it to, we, we improve it and, uh, and convert it to our own connection. So let me just use this moment connection, this end plate connection, I want to connect that to that. Let me just give it some time to create a connection there. Connection has been created and let me just minimize that. So we have this connection in place. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to explode this so that the moment I explode it, it, become, it becomes disjointed from uh, Tecla Structure's uh, uh, system connection. So it will be, it will, we want, after this, we want to uh, convert it to our own. So, I'll select this connection, right click, like, I'll select, I'll right click and come to explode. I'll take, I'll explode it. So the moment you explode it, I'll, I'll redraw. So the moment you explode it, this beam will become independent and the column will become independent and the end plate will become independent, same to the bolts, but bolts not normally are grouped. So we can, the bolts we can just leave as, as a group. So we want to, uh, convert this to our own custom uh, customized co connection type. So what you are going to do here is very simple. You, you you either have an option of improving of adding or improving this, and uh, I mean prior to creating prior to converting into your own connection, you improve it first. But due to time, let's just apply this and show you the process to follow if you intend to create your own connection and apply them in Tecla Structures is very important. It's always good to have your own tools inside Tecla Structures. Now, I'll pick on this button, I'll click on that button and I'll come to advanced, advanced, uh, uh, access advanced features button. I'll click on that. Then I'll, 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 I'll click on define custom component. I'll pick on that. So the moment I pick on that, first of all, let me uh, minimize that. So the moment I pick on this, I'll pick on the first option, the connection, I'll click. We have variety here, I have connection, detail, seam, and part. So I'll pick on the first option. So here I'll name the type of connection I want to create. So I'll just type moment connection. Moment connection. Connection. Perfect, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to click next. So the moment I click next, Tecla structure will ask me to, to identify some key points so that in the model, select objects that will form the custom component. So I'm going to select everything here. I'll select all that. This will form, this will form the component object. So I'm going to click next. So the moment I click next, I'm going to pick, uh, I'm going to define the order. So when you want to create that connection, you have to define which part is, which part is the main part that you want to connect to the other. So I want to identify the column as the main part. So I'm going to click on the column and click next. So when creating, when, 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 when applying this type of connection, when, when, once you're done and you, and you want to try, you want to try to apply this connection, you remember you must follow the same process that you 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 you, you clarified or if you, you did when creating this particular connection. So the secondary part will be beam. I'll click on the beam. Then once I'm done, I'm going to click finish, and you'll be able to see the cone comes in between, which indicate which is a clear indication that connection is has been created and it, it is a perfect connection. The, the green cone means it is correct. And the connection is correct now it is it's no longer the Tecla structure system connection it's now our own connection so to confirm whether it's our own connection i'll right click and redraw so i'll come to applications and components and we'll find it somewhere here so to find it just let's get rid of that 
and we'll, we'll move to ungrouped type of connections. So I'll scroll down, I'll click inside here and scroll down and try to tra track it down and I'll find somewhere here, somewhere here. So to try whether it's working, if I select on that, then right click and delete it, delete that, I'll, I'll can, I can still come back and create similar connection here. So that's how you can create that. So if you want to create a thumbnail or an image of this, it's very simple. What you can do is, is either you, uh, what you can do is very simple. What you do is you take the, a, a, a screenshot of this, then place it there. And to create a screenshot of this, it's very easy. You come to screenshot here, and prior to picking the screenshot, put your, your connection in a position that you'll be able to see everything clearly. Let me just place it in that position and I'll be able to see that clearly. So I'll come to screenshot here and pick on screenshot. Then I'll pick the view, but you only pick the view once you've uh, specified this to be printed to file. Print to file means it has a print this in, in this model folder. So once you've done that, you always come to position to option here and make your, your image have a white background. And now just click OK. So let's pick a view. So I'll come here and pick a view. So the moment I pick a view, I'll just be able to uh, uh, highlight this the screen on the screen where I want to be to, to for where I want the camera to, to capture and leave it there. So once I've highlighted the the on the screen which picture I want to be covered. Uh, captured. I'm, I'm going to here to click capture, and you'll see that uh, getting captured. And you want to, if you want to track that, you can always come here and track this. Remember, remember the name of this. This is new model 26. Uh, uh, new model 26. So we want to follow up on the picture we just created or the screenshot we just created. We'll come to model, open model. So we are opening this model, and then we come to screenshot. So in here, we'll be able to get this screenshot here, this one here, label snap 006. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to close that, then come back on my applications and component, then I'll right click and click thumbnail. So once I come in thumbnail, I want to change this default image. I'll click on add thumbnail, then this will take me to the image folder of this uh, project. So remember the name, it's new model 2016. So I'll track it on the C drive here. Double click on C drive and come to the structures model. Then I'll scroll down to this folder here and come to screenshots here and pick on this particular screenshot and click OK. So once we have this in place, I'll just uncheck the previous one and remain with this one. So if you close, we'll have ours just next to this. So we have this our own. So this is our own connection we've just created here. So we move to more details. So the more details we have to get started, we have to now jump to, to more modifications on this. So what I'm going to modify here, we are going to now to use uh, variables and formulas to play around with this particular connection. Like if I turn it around like this, you'll be able to see there's no any clearance between the end plate and the column. So I want to show you how you can play with those figures so that you create automatic uh, automatic clearance between the end plate and the beam like that. And now we'll move to the next step where we'll now be applying the variables and the formulas. Now we just created the connection with us and now we want to uh, modify it or uh, manipulate it further with formulas and variables. So let's meet on the next uh, tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'm Morris Gimba and bye bye.